What's going on everyone? This is Fred, findmyvapes.com, and today we're gonna to take a look at the clone of the Copper Stingray. All right, so I've been looking for the Black Copper Stingray clone for several weeks now. Most vendors have this on pre-order. Nobody really has it in stock. So I was searching over the weekend and I actually found a US vendor that had this in stock. Now the website said that it was not a pre-order, it was in stock, in hand, ready to ship. And it's the Black Copper Stingray made by Infinite. Now if you've done any type of research on the regular Phantom Brass Stingray clone, you might notice that it's come to the conclusion that Infinite is probably the best manufacturer for that clone. So when I was looking for the Copper clone, I definitely wanted to go with Infinite as the manufacturer. And on that website where I purchased this from, it clearly said, Copper Steamray Clone made by Infinite. So I jumped on that, I ordered it on Monday, and I actually received it on Wednesday. So it was actually really quick. It came from New York to uh, Southern California in just like two days or so. So super lightning fast shipping. But when I received the box and I opened it, I immediately knew that I did not receive the Infinite clone. So there's a, quite a few things wrong with this clone and um, I'm gonna kinda go over it with you. I'm gonna do a full breakdown of this. I've already contacted the vendor and they, they had a whole story of how it got mixed up with everything else. But they, regardless, they are giving me a full refund plus the return shipping. So. I'm not losing out on any of this, but since I do have this, I figured I'll break it down, show you what the difference is, and kind of give you guys a warning on what to look for. Because if you are looking for a Steenray mod, you definitely want to try to get the Infinite brand. So let me break it down, and here we go. All right, so this is the box that it comes in, and it's a pretty, pretty decent looking box. But as you open it, I immediately knew that I did not receive the Infinite clone. Um, because if you look in this box right here, you'll see three separate tubes. Now you have an individual tube for the 18350, an in individual tube for the 18500, and an individual tube for the 18650. Now, according to the infinite pictures that I've seen, it's supposed to be more like the authentic JD Tech Stingray. So you're supposed to have a single 18350 tube, a single 18500 tube, and for the 18650, you're supposed to just have a small extension tube that goes on top of the 18500 tube. Even though I like this look, that's not how Infinite sells it. So I immediately knew that this is not the correct one. Let's, let's first off, let's just talk about the switch. I mean, the main reason most people are going for the Steam Ray is because of the switch. Now, the Infinite clone has a magnetic switch and it's supposed to be silver plated. Now, if you look at this switch right here, this is pretty much identical to the Nemesis clone switch or the Nemesis switch. And it is definitely not magnetic. Now, it's, it's, it has a full copper contact point here, but it's supposed to be silver plated. Now, I'll disassemble this even later on just to show you, but um this is this is really crunchy guys like i i'm not happy with this switch i mean there's no reason that i would even get the stingray if it came with a switch like this i would just get another nemesis clone so the switch is pretty junky now this is brand new i haven't even used it so it could break in and smooth out but when it comes to it, I, I was looking for the mag magnetic switch. That's really what I wanted. I wanted the short throw that everyone's been raving about. And I wanted the magnetic switch with the silver plated contacts. So this is pretty junky. Now, another way that you can tell that you're not getting a infinite product is if you look on the pictures for the infinite product on the tubes, Let's take this 18500 tube for example. This thread, this locking ring thread, is actually coated with the same black coating as the actual tube. 
But as you can see here, this is just exposed copper. Now these tubes are definitely pure copper. If you can see inside there, it is copper straight through. Um, I mean, there is definitely a, a seam in the middle of each tube, but it is all copper. This threading has been kind of difficult to work with. Um, I'll kind of give you an example here. I'm gonna take, take off the locking ring and the switch that's on this 350 tube. And since we're talking about threading, the locking ring is pretty smooth. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I mean, I, I like that a lot. It is pretty smooth, but nothing else is really smooth. So let me take this off. And here's the 18500 tube. So I'm gonna put the locking screw in here. Goes on perfectly fine. That's good, nice and smooth. Now when I take the switch, so as I'm turning right here, there's a huge amount of friction right here. I can't even screw this on. Like I, I'm pretty sure that I could force this in, but there's a lot of tension right there. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway since I'm returning this product, but you kind of have to force this on. And you hear it, it's, it's not smooth at all. Now this could smooth out with use, but right now it's pretty junky. I mean, you hear that, right? You hear that. So, I mean, that's definitely another negative on this specific mod. Let's take a look on the top cap. Now this is supposed to be a silver plated floating pin for this 510 connection right here. Now if I'm turning it over, it's definitely not silver plated. So it is copper. I mean, copper is not bad, but it's not what was advertised, right? And it does look like to be assembled as a floating pin. So it does appear to have that ability, but when I take an atomizer and I screw this in, if you can see, like this is as tight as it'll go and it's, it's leaving a gap. This pin is just not moving at all. So it, it could just be seized up or it could be fixed. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely not floating at this moment. I've tried a few atomizers already. Everything that I've put on it has a huge gap. And that's not, that's not what you want. So like I said, maybe it's just seized up. I'm not too sure, but you know, it's not the quality that, that you're expecting when you order this. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out right now and see, see what it's like. I'm gonna use the 18350 tube, put a battery in, screw that down. The top cap threads are pretty good. I wouldn't complain about that. And I got my Igo L. So again, there's a huge gap right there. And then here's the drip tip. So that's what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty cool, guys. I'm gonna have to say this looks pretty cool. But again, I mean, it's not very good quality, you know? The etching on here is really, really shallow. It's not deep at all. The fire switch is really crunchy. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's 
definitely firing. But yeah, I'm just not happy with this. But yeah, let me go ahead and uh, vape on this and we'll see how it performs. All right, so I do have to say, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty good in uh, 18350 mode. Um, let's just see how it vapes. I haven't used this yet. Uh, this is the first time that I'm actually vaping on this device. Um, I mean, it, it works. It definitely works. And with a, the full copper contacts, uh, I mean, I'm getting a pretty good hit. But the the switch, is, it's pretty crunchy. I mean, it's definitely not a magnet switch. And I would say that it's, it's worse than the Nemesis clone switch. And that's kind of the main reason why I wanted to even get a Stingray was to improve the switch. Um, even with the, the Steamray, the, the Phantom Brass Steamray clone, I mean, people are, are raving about the Switch, calling it a nemesis killer. So that's what I wanted. Now, this does look good, but, you know, you could definitely see that gap. It's, this Igo L clone is definitely not sitting flush. Nothing, nothing I've put on here has sit, sit flush. Uh, this is the first time that I'm firing it, though. Uh, it, it does it does vape I mean you're not it, it, it works it vapes but it's not what I wanted I would say that if you were stuck with this uh, if you if you couldn't return it then I mean it's definitely a usable mod. but it's just not what I ordered. I mean, really what this is doing, seeing it like this, seeing how good that it does look, it's just making me more excited to actually receive the real infinite Steam Ray clone. I mean, it just looks, it looks really good. It looks really good. So, I mean, overall, it works. The quality isn't what I had expected, uh, thinking that it was an infinite product, but um, it works. It vapes. It, it does hit pretty hard because of uh, the copper contacts. But, you know, just, just be careful. Just know what you are ordering. If you want to order this, um, you know, order it. But if you're looking for an infinite clone, then definitely look out for possibly shady vendors trying to pass this off as an infinite product. But um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.